So this lesson is going to cover the basics of heart failure. So we're going to give you the most important things you need to know. So what exactly causes heart failure? Well, anything that impacts the heart's ability to pump can potentially cause heart failure. So the top two causes are MIs and hypertension. Click the link below or visit nursing.com slash NFN for a free NCLEX ebook covering the 77 key topics. Now, if you get nothing else about heart failure, this is the part you've got to get. Remember we said that there's decreased perfusion forward and increased congestion backwards. All right, so in right-sided heart failure, forward is the lungs. So we have decreased perfusion to the lungs. So we're gonna see some oxygenation problems. They may struggle with activity because they're just not getting enough blood flow to their lungs and they're not getting enough gas exchange. And then backwards, we see that congestion into the system. They're way overloaded in that systemic circulation. So what does that mean? Well, the big thing here, we got peripheral edema. Um, so how would you feel if you swelled up like crazy, right? So if you swelled up like crazy, you're going to be tired. You're going to be fatigued. You might even gain some weight. And then some of this fluid can even collect in the gut. That's called ascites. And if you had that, you might even be nauseated. Um, and then because the blood can't get past the heart into the body, it's also going to back up into the neck. So you're going to see this distension of the jugular vein or JVD, it's like a rope in their neck, y'all. It's really swollen and uh, distended. So what about left? Well, they actually have decreased perfusion to the body. So remember, what are our signs of decreased perfusion? So they're going to be pale, uh, decreased pulses. They might have slow cap refill and their skin might even be cool. Signs of decreased perfusion. And then we see the congestion happening in their lungs. That's that congestion backwards from the left side of the heart goes into the lungs. So we're going to see pulmonary edema. So you see they're going to have a cough. Their sputum is going to be pink and frothy because of that extra blood flow within the lungs. They are going to be extremely short of breath when they're lying flat, okay? Because all that fluid's gonna put pressure on their lungs and it's gonna make it hard to breathe. So if you see these really significant respiratory issues, I really want you to think left-sided heart failure. Um, sometimes they might even have weight loss. Again, right-sided, the classic symptom is this peripheral edema, it's the systemic volume overload. And on the left side, the classic sign is gonna be this pulmonary edema and this fluid in the lungs. If you need more help, breaking down complex topics like this one, make sure to head over to nursing.com slash NFN, click the link in the description below, or scan the QR code to unlock your free NCLEX review that covers 77 must-know nursing topics. Make sure that you learn this, that we love you guys. Now go out, be your best self today, and as always, happy nursing.